All right, what's going on everybody? It's Broken Games HDR, back at it again with another video. And uh, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm tired of having this conversation. I'm tired of arguing with people about this. I'm, I'm honestly sick of it. I'm tired, I'm jaded. It's just, I, 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 am, I am annoyed. Very annoyed. And I've been annoyed for a very long time, you know, with the PlayStation fan base about this, you know, and, and the naysayers. I've been arguing about this since last generation, since about the middle of last generation, because that's when I started to notice that it was a problem, you know, that, that it was an issue that wasn't being addressed. And when it was even brought up, you know, the PlayStation fan base just tried to quiet, shut up, shut up, don't say nothing, you know? So... News came out today that during a Sony Q3 earnings call, uh, Jim Ryan specifically, I believe, um, announced that PlayStation plans to launch 10 live service games by March 2026, and that's in four years, right? Now, this may seem redundant um, because you would assume everybody actually knows the definition of a live service game, but based on the back and forths I've had with people on Twitter, you can't even assume that. So just to read the definition real quick, in the video game industry, games as a service, or GAAS, gas, I guess some people may may say it if they're speaking, um, represents providing video games or game content on a continuing revenue model similar to software as a service. Games as a service are ways to monetize video games either after their their initial sale or to support a free-to-play model because some people actually believe games as a service and free-to-play are one and the same. That's not necessarily true. There are games that are games as a service and you have to pay for them. There is an initial upfront cost. Uh, some games um, that you pay for upfront, sometimes like they'll make uh, the games free-to-play uh, you know, at a certain point in the future, but that's not necessarily the case. They're not one and the same. Uh, games released under the games as a service model typically receive a long or indefinite stream of monetized new content over time to encourage players to continue paying to support the game. This often leads to games that work under the games as a service model, also called living games, live games, or live service games, since they continually change with these updates. So, so the real, the thing is people need to realize the real difference, right, between a traditional multiplayer game, right, and a games as a service is, is, is not that big. The difference is really not that big. The difference is this, a traditional multiplayer game most likely will not continue to receive updates or content past a certain point, right? It's not meant to have super longevity. It's the model is not set up for it to have long legs or a super long lifespan um, set up with content. Games can survive and have a long life without the continuing content, but that's the real, that's the real difference. We're going to set this game up so that the player supports it long term and the developer uh, supports it long term. That's that's the that's the real difference. A traditional multiplayer game is just going to be a static multiplayer game, right? How you get it is for the most part how it's going to stay. Games as a service will evolve. That's the real difference. That's the real difference, and and that's that's important that that people know that because some people like to believe that games as a service is like inherently evil, inherently bad. When that's not the case, that is that is far from that's far from the truth. Now you can make the case that how games as a service have been implemented in the past has has been less than uh, admirable or less than savory uh, to the gamer. But there are examples of it being done right. Now even though I may not be a fan of these games that have done it right, it has nothing to do with it being a games as a service uh, model. It's for me. It's due to the, the genre or the play style or the gameplay of the game. Some games that have done it right, hey, y'all know I hate the game. As far as you ask anybody, Destiny did the games as a service model right. They can cont actually continue to update and support that game. Fortnite, don't like Fortnite. 
has nothing to do with I, me not liking Fortnite has nothing to do with it being a games as a service. I just don't like the gameplay. I don't like the gameplay of Destiny. Same thing with with games like um, Apex, Sea of Thieves. Um, you know, Sea of Thieves obviously have a has a rough start. I don't like the game. Once again, it's about the genre. It's it's the it's the gameplay. So there are there are examples of it being done right. Even Warzone, even even Warzone, because a lot of people like to assume that you know part of a games as a service means it's going to be incomplete. I mean, technically, a games as a service is will has to be incomplete because if if you if you think of it as complete as this is the whole thing that you're ever going to get inherently it has to be incomplete because games as a service continues to provide content over time so it can never really be complete if you if you want to say like it, it has like all the relevant and the and the structure uh, all the things that you expect from a multiplayer game up front that that's different i i get that right and there are once again examples of games that have all the things that should bare minimum be there at launch. There's examples of games as a service that have had that. I, I, I name some of them, right? But as far as as far as content goes, it will never be complete necessarily because it's it's this perpetual cycle of more content, which is a good thing. That's not a bad thing. Once again, it's all about how you implement these things, right? Because microtransactions you know microtransactions and games as a service they tie into one another right they're pretty much part of a games as a service model microtransactions are not inherently bad there there are still people having this this discussion still calling microtransactions evil that is not the case microtransactions are not bad how they are implemented decides if they are good or bad mainly if it's just cosmetic then that's fine. And as long as the cosmetic prices are not egregious, then it's fine. This is, this is not a, this is, these things are not a problem, right? So, and the thing is like, multiplayer and games as a service are not necessarily, this, they're obviously not the same thing. I explained the difference, but games in the future are more likely to, to mostly be games as a service right? Because it's really just an evolution of multiplayer games. It's like, okay, why have a multiplayer game that stays static, right? That after maybe two years, we stop, we stop supporting it. Nope. You know, the, the, because it's, it's, it's a, it's a pro bono thing. Both the player and the developer benefit from it. It's not only the developer. There are situations where it's egregious. Nobody's denying that, but but games as a service benefit both the player and the developer, right? So if you can have a game that you love that continually gets support year after year after year, rather than a game that's static that stays the same in year one and year two, and then it stops, it stops getting any support after that, what is the benefit of that? There, there is no benefit. So, and like I said, I, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of, their, of the current multi uh, uh games as a service games because of the genre i don't care about it being games as a service necessarily like for because this is and this is why i am for playstation doing this if you're taking playstation ips and you're making it a games as a service i'm all for that because i like the gameplay of those games and tra and if you translate those for example if you made socom and, and these are these are some games like we know Twisted Metal is in development. London Studios is making a multiplayer game. These could be some of the games that Jim Ryan was referring to that are going to that that is included in the 10 live service games that are going to be out by March 2026. PlayStation right now has like five multiplayer games in development. These could or could not be part of that list. These could all be what he's referring to by the games as a service games, right? It could be, it could be Twisted Metal, could be the game London, the multiplayer game London Studios is working on. Factions 2 could be games as a service. That AAA game by Deviation Studios, uh, that's going to be a multiplayer. That could be it. Fire Sprite, the, the, the multiplayer game Fire Sprite is working on. That could be a part of it. Bungie's new IP, that could be a part of it. 
So people are making it seem like they're about to like rush out and like throw these and throw these things out there just to throw them out, like rush content. Like, bro, they, they they're already in development. It's likely that these are already a part of it. And like I was saying, if you take these PlayStation games that I already like and just make it into a games as a service, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. SOCOM, Games as a Service, I'm for it. Killzone, R Resistance, Twisted Metal, like I said, I already like these games. I already like them. Te like, tested, tried, and true. I like the gameplay of them. So if you were to keep generally that same gameplay, make it into a, you know, and, and, and whatever they decide to do with these IPs, I don't, we obviously don't know if they're going to bring them back. But if they do, and you make it into a games as a service, I'm all for that. Why wouldn't I be? I liked it as a multiplayer game. Now it's just a multiplayer game that they have a model that they will continually support it. I see no problem with that. I see no problem with that. Now, when it comes to the PlayStation fan base and the naysayers, it's like, why are y'all so afraid? I, I just don't understand it. Like, why are y'all so afraid when y'all see PlayStation trying something new, something maybe others have failed at, something that they have failed at? Why are y'all so afraid and so against it? Like, it, it's sickening how, how, how y'all act. It's sickening. If any, when it comes to, if it's anything other than PlayStation making single player driven games, they just shit on it. They just put PlayStation in this box of making single player games and y'all don't want them to do nothing the fuck else. Nothing. No, nope, PlayStation can't do nothing else. Don't expand. Don't grow. Don't evolve. Don't do anything else. Make single player games for the rest of your existence and that's all I want from you. Really? This is, this is how y'all think? You don't think that's absolutely bizarre for a company that provides you a, a service and content to not do anything else and not try anything else ever? Like, what type of mindset is that? Like, listen, I'm not saying that the games as a service that they make, all of them are going to be absolutely successful. Do I believe some of them will be? Some will be more. And, and, and there's different levels to success, of course, right? Do I think... And that's the thing, like, people got to understand... Call of Duty is not is is not the you know the barometer for success. Yes, Call of Duty is immensely successful, but you got to realize Call of Duty is an outlier. Fortnite is an anomaly. That's not how you, on average, rate success. That's that's not it. You're never you're not gonna reach that. You're you're not gonna reach that because most don't. So you can't be like, oh, it didn't. It, it's not as popular as Call of Duty. It's a failure. It sucks. It's people in the sport. No, that, that's not, that's not how you do it. That's not how, that's not how you look at it. it. It's 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 so weird to me. Like yo, it, it, and it, with the PlayStation fan base, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's if you're talking about putting co-op in in a game, no, no, we don't want that. No multiplayer. No, no, we don't want that. Games as a service. No, yo, they don't want nothing. Nothing. They're just in this safe little comfortable box. And y'all are terrified, just horrified, just like fear in your eyes about the cry, just just frightened of PlayStation potentially trying to do anything else. It's like almost more than it's more than y'all are afraid for PlayStation to fail. Y'all are it's like y'all are afraid for PlayStation to succeed. That's what it really feels like to me, because, listen, even if all the even if like these in the circumstance, and I don't believe this is going to happen, if every one of these uh, games as a service games failed, I would still be happy that PlayStation at least tried. I would still be happy that they attempted something that they usually that they usually don't. I would still be a, still be happy that they gave the actual full effort to offer something, and not just rely on on the third parties of the industry and everybody else to do it. Because when play, when people, it's funny, people only apply this when they want it to. When PlayStation does something, 
it's different than than how it is in the rest of the industry. But when it comes to multiplayer games and games as a service co-op, that's when people act like PlayStation are just these incapable, just moronic bunch of idiots. Like they don't know what they're doing, right? Place I said this before, right? Y'all, they plays praise PlayStation. Oh, they're the best publisher. They have the best talent. They have the best experience. The best developers, right? Oh my God, they can they can save a baby from a fucking burning building. Then suddenly, when you mention the word multiplayer. Oh my God, like, did, did a fucking ghost just enter the room? Did like, wh- why are y'all so fucking quiet and scared? You just told me that these motherfuckers are the best in the industry. You just told me that. So unless you're telling me that PlayStation is a one-trick pony, that, that's essentially what all of you are telling me. That PlayStation Studios, they have 18, if you want to exclude Bungie, right, whatever. Whatever you, you want to include, right? Because we know Bungie can do can do multiplayer. So 17, they have 17 studios or whatever, and you're telling me all of these mofos are one-trick ponies. Not one of them can make multiplayer games. None of them. They're just incapable. Does that even sound logical to you? Does that sound... Does that sound probable? Y'all, y'all are looking at something that hasn't been done and saying it can't be done because it wasn't fully attempted. There's a difference between something that hasn't been tried and something that can't be done. That's how y'all, I don't see it that way. I don't, I don't see because, they've tr- because they haven't done something that mean it can't be done or because the rest of the industry hasn't done something that, that it can't be done. I don't look at it that way. I don't. And that's weird that y'all, that y'all look at it that way. And, and let's say, and let's say, right, PlayStation, doesn't have the talent right now to make these games as a service games or these multiplayer games, whatever. Let's say you, you don't believe that they're good at it because that's the narrative. They're not good at it. They're not good at multiplayer games. When it came to Microsoft and Xbox last generation and they were making these shitty dog shit single player games, what did people say? Get better. Do better. Make some good single player games. That's it. You, people didn't people didn't care how. People didn't like come up with a, a, a 10 step plan for how Microsoft and Xbox could make better single player games. You just said they need to get fucking better. So why don't people have the same energy when it comes to PlayStation and multiplayer games? Just get better. Just get good. I don't care. See, y'all be worrying about the logistics of how they're going to do it and this and bro, get it done. I don't care. I don't, I don't care about all that stuff. Get it done. Get good. I have the same, the same energy you had for, for Microsoft and Xbox telling them to figure it out, figure out how you're going to make worthwhile single player experiences. Have the same energy for PlayStation. Stop treating them like a bunch of infants in the industry, some rookies have the same energy for them. Tell them to figure it the fuck out. Like, and pronto, like now, figure it out. And that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to figure it out along the way. They have a bunch of resources. They have a bunch of connections. They have a bunch of talent. Let them figure it out. Let them try it out. That's all I'm like. I just don't understand why y'all are like this. Like, what are y'all so afraid of? Is it because you're trash in multiplayer? Is that what it is? Is it because, like, multiplayer games would just, like, I don't know, highlight your inefficiencies? And people are acting like because they're making live service games, that means suddenly PlayStation is going to stop making single-player flagship titles? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. PlayStation PlayStation makes some of the, the the most awarded, acclaimed and 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 renowned uh single player games that make all this money. And suddenly they're just going to be like, "Yeah, we're done with that. That's over with. Get it out of here. Fuck out of here. We're done. We're 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 games as a service games from now on. That's it. No more single player experiences." Does that fucking sound logical to anybody? Like what are we talking about here, bro?
your single player games are safe. Don't worry. You're not going anywhere. I like those games just as much as you do. I be platinum platinuming all these single player experiences like you do. I love them. Not all of them, but most of them. They're not going nowhere. Relax. Don't cry. Don't curl up in a, in, in a fetal position. Worrying that PlayStation not going to make your single player games. They're going to make them. You're going to be okay. I promise you're going to make it through this. Everything's going to be a-okay, buddy. Like, it's like PlayStation gamers almost have this, like, they, they have this, like, almost bougie or elitist, like, a, a elitist purview when it comes to multiplayer games. Like, you look down upon people that play multiplayer games or want multiplayer games and you think you're better than, better than them. Like, oh, play multiplayer games? Oh, I would never. That is preposterous. Oh, that is below me. That, that's, that's literally how y'all act, multiplayer games? Oh, sir, don't insult me. Like, bro, you're not better than nobody because you, play, because you don't play multiplayer games? That's literally how y'all, why are y'all elitist? Oh, I play, I play single player games, my good sir. I would never stoop down so low and play multiplayer. How absurd. Shut the fuck up. Like, seriously, bro. That, that's, that's how y'all act. It's like, bro, you're not better than nobody. Okay, you're trash at multiplayer games. Don't try to, like, spin it and make it seem like you better. That, that's literally how, how y'all be acting, bro. And it and it it just aggravates me. And the other thing is like, it's so funny when 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 we when they talk about PlayStation and like single player games, the, developing single player games, they always put the most positive spin on it, right? But there is always the most positive spin situation and scenario when it comes to single player games. But when it comes to multiplayer games. Right off the bat, they poison the pool in the scenario. Like they, they just poison the well. Like, oh, when it comes to single player games, like, oh, you know, they'd be like, oh, yeah, well, well, Insomniac's making it. That, you know, that means that the sun's going to be shining. Uh, you know, the grass is, is going to be green. Uh, you know, everything, the, the dominoes are going to just line up perfectly for them. Everything is going to go right. But then when, it, when you mention PlayStation Studios and multiplayer games, they'd be like, oh, man, well, you know, the, the meteor strike is about to hit Earth and, uh, you know, the developers are going to be depressed while making the multiplayer game. And then, you know, the developer is going to go home and beat his wife and then he's going to go back to PlayStation Studios studios and stab everybody. And then and then Sony's going to shut down. That's literally how y'all frame it. I'm, I'm not joking. That, that's how they talk about multiplayer games. They talk about multiplayer games like every single thing is going to go wrong. Every single thing all all along the way. They, they, when you bring a multiplayer, oh, it, it's 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 gonna be tacked on. Oh, it's it's gonna it, it's gonna be uh, what else they be saying? It, it's gonna be tacked on. Um, it, it's you know it's gonna have all these egregious practices. Uh, you know, just bro, where where is even like the just that the middle of the line view, the middle ground when it comes to how you view multiplayer games. Just everything is just doom and gloom and, and dark clouds, depression, depression and, um, and, and, and goddamn pestilence it, it running amok, running up, uh, you know, it, it's just mayhem, pestilence and, 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 the, and the earth is cursed and, you know, everything. It's the PlayStation apocalypse. Oh, they're making multiplayer games. Oh, everybody shield the children. Oh, get to the underground bunkers like. What's wrong with you niggas? Like, really? Like, really? It's just panic, anarchy, and mayhem in the streets when, when PlayStation even utters the word multiplayer. Like, listen, y'all y'all say PlayStation are the best. That's what y'all say. Let, let them prove that in every area, not just, not just one area. Where's the, where's the desire for growth to attempt different things, to venture into different possibilities, and to explore their potential. You mean to tell me, I, if they're making 10 live service games, and you know, not all of this even has to be PlayStation first party, it could be partners or whatever, we don't know. You mean to tell me that PlayStation is planning 10 live service games, 
and they're, the, they're this amazing studio and publisher, and you don't believe that they can't get not even three out of ten right? If PlayStation can't get three out of ten live service games right, they should just shut down the whole thing. That's what I believe. If you, if you with a, as a publisher, all the resources you got, all the acclaim you got in the industry, if you can't get three out of ten right, shut down everything. Everybody go home. Fuck it. Sh That's how I feel. What are you here for then? If, if you're a one-trick pony, you can only figure out how, how, to, how to make these amazing single-player games, shut down everything and go home. Tell everybody that has a PlayStation to sell it because y'all because y'all clearly not worth being here. Y'all clearly have no purpose for your existence if you just here for one, you know, just just you have just have one lane and that's the lane you stick in. As a company, I just feel like they should offer more than that. Like I've been saying for a long time now, PSN is one of the biggest scams that's been out there. If PlayStation is charging to play online, you know who should be providing content to play online? PlayStation. Not EA. Don't tell me nothing about EA. EA is not charging me to play online. Don't tell me nothing about Activision. Activision is not charging me to play online. Don't tell me nothing about Ubisoft or any of these third-party dudes who, who make multiplayer games. They're not charging me. PlayStation is charging me. They should be the ones responsible for providing at least some content. Some. And, and God damn it, when you make some of these multiplayer games and games as a service games, fucking market some of them shits. Market, them sh market all them shits. Because once again, poison, uh, PlayStation poisons their own well when it comes to multiplayer games. They half-ass the effort. They be funding dog shit like Predator and, and uh, uh, Destruction All-Stars. And people love to point at examples where PlayStation has failed with multiplayer games, right? And you realize, like, those examples are horrible because even, like, even outside of games as a service, right, if... If Apex Legends, I mean, not Apex Legends, um, Destruction All-Stars, like, they, they tried to, like, make that into a games as a service games. If that was just a regular multiplayer game, it would still be ass. That game would be ass as just a single player game. That game is just flat out ass. You can't use a, just a, a plain bad game as an example to, to say it doesn't work, right? Pl people look at PlayStation's half ass attempts at multiplayer games and be like, well, it, it didn't work. You know, fuck it. Let's not do it no more. Like, bro, they didn't even try. You know how I know they didn't try? When you look at PlayStation single player games, right? If, if, you, if you were to ju just based on like, let's say Sony's advertisement, Sony's marketing and promotion, you wouldn't, you would never, like at least the last two generations, you wouldn't even know PlayStation had any multiplayer games and they don't have a, a great selection right? But even when they did last two, two generations, you wouldn't even know they did because they don't talk about it. They don't promote it. You know, you, everybody and their mother knows when God of War, Horizon, The Last of Us is coming out, right? Every, everybody knows. You, 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 you see it everywhere. They make sure you see it everywhere. When it comes to multiplayer games in the last two generations, the ones they've had PlayStation act like they don't even exist. You, how about we get a state of play for a multiplayer game? When, when I finally see that, I would be utterly astounded and amazed. PlayStation needs to give their multiplayer games, when the future ones they have, the same treatment that they give the single player games. They put them on a, on a pedestal, on a platform. They lift it up. They promote it. And then it's funny because when they, when they don't do that and a bunch of people don't even know the game has multiplayer, people be like, oh, well, it, nobody bought it. Nobody talks about it. Nobody, nobody played it. So that means nobody cares. Uh, PlayStation didn't even promote it. They didn't talk about it. They didn't support it. More than marketing, they, they, didn't, even, they didn't even support it. So, so miss me with these terrible ass examples that y'all be talking about. So, oh, see, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. You can't point 
like in the last two generations to 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 a time when PlayStation gave a full ass effort to develop a multiplayer game and actually market and promote it in the same manner that they do single player games. You can't not find one, not one, because you know it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, nigga. Cause they 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 treat multiplayer games like the redheaded stepchild. That that they uh, well, it's I mean it's there, you know. We'll we'll throw it some food once in a while, you know, like under the door, or some shit like that. I'm just, you know, it, it it's. I'm just sick of I'm sick, you know. I'm sick of uh, you know, talk about it. It's it's really a catch twenty two when it when it comes to that, right? It, it's really like a, a web. It, it's really like a web. It's PlayStation release mediocre, uh, multiplayer game that they don't promote. Then people say PlayStation is not good at making single uh multiplayer games. And they don't support it, so they don't want it. And then it just goes full circle again. Until they break the, the cycle and put out a, an actual good multiplayer game that they, that they don't just get a third-party uh, developer. And, and it could be a third-party developer. But how about an actual good one with a good resume and a, and a, and a, and a good um, you know, background and, and a good resume that actually makes these multiplayer games? You know, and then you actually promote it, put some money behind it, real money behind it, like you do your single player games. And by the way, multiplayer games are usually cheaper to make than single player games. Cheaper. That's on record. Developers said, say us, tell us all the time. It's actually cheaper to make a multiplayer game. How about you do all those things and break the cycle? Break the cycle. So, listen, I'm just, I, I don't know what else to say besides that. I, I, I really don't. I believe in these games as a service games. I'm, I'm all for it. I, 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 I want them. I welcome them. I believe they can absolutely succeed if PlayStation markets, promotes them, and puts the full machine behind them like they do their single player games. You know, and I and I do hope they bring back you know stuff like SOCOM, Resistance, or Killzone, or all of them, or one of them, whatever. And I hope PlayStation dudes can actually like open their minds and you know just become a little bit more open minded, you know, and actually give shit. You give shit. You don't even have to give shit a try. That's the thing. You don't even have to necessarily give it a try, but you don't have to like shit on even the idea. Of it from from the get go, I don't like co op games necessarily. Like there's there's it's few it's very few and far between where I've enjoyed co op experience. But you but you've never heard me say uh, PlayStation shouldn't make any co op games anymore. They should never put co op in any of their games. And and there's no reason to believe that them trying to do more will necessarily, you know. Uh, uh, in, inhibit or you know hurt the development of any of their single player games like bruh come on y'all y'all running out of excuses the the y'all the excuses and you know the bullshit reasons that you are coming they're not flying anymore they're, they're it, it's based in fear that's all it is it's just based in in, in unfounded fear so uh yeah um it's funny. All, all of my videos have been like all like all of my recent videos, well, not all of them, but a lot of my recent videos have been like pretty long videos, uh, damn near discussions like this. Um, I don't know if people like them or not, but hey, man, I'm going to get this shit off my chest. I'm going to talk about it. <sighs> um, I think that's that's all I really got to say. Uh, I, I think that's, I mean, people are still going to be against it. You know, they're still going to be bitching, whining, come on, you know, complaining, moaning. <laughs> you know, you can't make your multiplayer. You know, it's, uh, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how you can look at like, you got to realize Nintendo has better 
and more multiplayer games than PlayStation. And I'm not even talking about like just couch co-op games or like or multiplayer games that, that you know you could play on a couch, right? Not just couch co-op, couch multi. No, they have more actual and better. That that's the thing, like better and more diverse multiplayer online offerings than PlayStation. That don't sound insane to you? Nintendo. We're talking about Nint- bro, we're talking about Nintendo that literally came out with a he- that came out with a headset that you had to like connect that had like three different port, three different wires. You had to connect it to three different ports, connect it to your phone, connect it to the telephone pole outside, connect it to a modem. Like this is the same Nintendo we're talking about. The one that has like, like these archaic ancient practices when it comes to online, they have better multiplayer offerings than PlayStation. That don't bother you niggas. That, that, that's it. Right. With y'all. Does that make sense to y'all looking at the IPs? That are prime. PlayStation IPs are primed for multiplayer. Some of them that have never had multiplayer are perfect in a multiplayer situation. And they're just sitting there doing nothing. But I guess I'm the only one who sees the potential. And uh, I mean, there's there's definitely, you know, so I'm not going to make it seem like there's nobody who 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 wants this and is open to this idea cuz there are some people, but a lot of a lot of y'all given pushback, man, I think I think y'all are fucking tripping. So, hey man, I'm out of here y'all. I'll catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Oh, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, uh follow me on Twitter. You know I be you know I be getting crazy on Twitter. Uh, hit the join button, support the channel. Of course, I'm going to be arguing with somebody about this on Weapon Wheel this, this Sunday. So tune in for that. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.